favor and carry that out. Oh, is this the development on the waterfront? No, actually. It's the addition to the new senior citizen center. That's great. Daddy. Yes. I need to talk to you yes? about taking driver's ed next semester. Oh, you're bad. You're trying to do an end run around your mother. Dad, you're changing the subject. Yeah, well, I'm trying. Well, you're not going to get away with it. Dad, could you at least talk to her? I mean, what's the big deal about me getting my license anyway? We went through this last year. Uh, has it ever occurred to you, my darling daughter, that I may actually agree with your mother? You're joking, right? I will see what I can do. I heard that. You gave in, didn't you? Oh, no. Don't you think I know which side my bread is buttered on? Mom, it doesn't make any sense. Aside from Sarah Charlotte, I am the only one in my homeroom who doesn't have a license yet. I, I have an awful lot of work. Uh, up, up. You traitor! No. Dad! Howard! I thought that taking safe driving would make you happy. I just don't understand what the big rush is. I mean, you have so much on your plate right now. You've got your school, you've got your music, and what about that tennis camp you want to go to this summer? Mom, I am not a kid anymore. I know how to manage my time. I guess I'm also concerned your grades might suffer. Learning how to drive does not interfere with your grades, Mom. We'll see. <laughs> I thought we'd do some shopping on the weekends, spend some money, buy some shoes, you know. I thought you were tapped. Well, I was, but Dad came by last night, and you know how he is. If giving you money makes him feel better about leaving us for the cheerleader, hey, who am I to object, right? Sure, why not? I can always use a new pair of shoes. Oh, I almost forgot. Are you coming with me tomorrow? We're going to take driver's ed next semester. We'll need our permits. My mom won't let me take driver's ed. Still? No, she thinks my grades will suffer. Oh, you're going to keep working on her, right? Actually, I'm done to Dad. He's usually easier. Well, you better hurry, because that class fills up pretty quick. Hi, guys. Hey, what's hey, up? Hey, what's up, guys? Ooh, nice skirt. Oh, Great, bologna and relish. Oh, yeah. That's Ooh. disgusting. Change it for my BLT. <laughs> Who made it, you or your mother? My mom. I'll even share my orange juice. You must not overdo this. My God, I dare you being nice. Really? His whining was ruining my appetite. Oh, look. There's your boy next door. God, some guys are just too good looking. He eats with his mouth open. <laughs> like that would stop you from sticking your tongue in if you had the chance. Oh, I dare. I can't believe it. I dare. There's guys at this table. I dare. There's guys at this table. Oh, you know I have milk intolerance. I'm sorry. What do you do about milk? I just use water to get it out. Yeah, that's fine. How is anyone supposed to recognize a three-year-old kidnapped 13 years ago? My mom says none of those milk carton kids are ever really kidnapped. They're just kids of divorce. You know, one parent gets mad and takes the kid. Doesn't tell the other parent. Tell me, Squirt Jessman is ditching school, too. Well, come on then. You know, this might sound kind of stupid considering who it's coming from, but you really shouldn't be cutting school. Uh, once or twice a year, it's okay. But any more than that, it kind of gets in your blood. Next thing you know, taking the whole year over again. What's with the milk carton? That's a social science project. school? It was fine. <laughs> You'll ruin your supper that way. You sound like my mother. Well, considering how long I've known you, I think I have the right to a few maternal feelings. Reeve, you want to go put the laundry in the dryer, please? And do I want to? Maybe I should rephrase that. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> 
Mrs. Shields. Mm hmm? Do you remember how old I was when I moved here? Of course I do. You had to have been the cutest little button of a three-year-old. All those freckles and that mop of red hair. What were my parents like then? Well, like they are now, I guess. No, actually, I think they were a little more strict back then. What do you mean? Well, I think older parents tend to be a little more cautious with their children. Your mom and dad knew where you were every minute of the day. Of course, that young, you have to watch your kids, but even playing out in your own backyard or over here with Reeve, your mother was always right out there with you, keeping watch. You're running out of room here. Yeah, almost. <laughs> Reeve, what's your earliest memory? I mean, how young were you? Well, I guess I would have been about two years old. I remember being really cold because my sister Lizzie locked me out of the house and I didn't have any clothes on. What happened? Uh, the usual. Lizzie told Mom and ran away. I got in trouble and she got a cookie for finding me. You don't like your sister much, do you? She's okay. I always like her more when she's away at school, though. She comes home uh, tomorrow, you know? I thought she had that big bar exam coming up. Uh, yeah, well, she already took that. She's coming home to wait for the results. trying to figure out who I look like. Which features I got from which parent. Well, you got your eyes from your dad. Mm. And your ears, unfortunately, from me. <laughs> but you're both so tall. Uh -huh. You got your height from your grandmother. My mom was barely five feet tall. As she grew older, she seemed to shrink. One minute she was at my shoulder, and the next she was at my waist. <laughs> How come there are no baby pictures of me? Um, well, that's because we didn't get around to buying a camera until you were, what, three, four years old? Well, you could have taken me to one of those baby studios. We kept meaning to, but we just never got around to it. Of course, I'm sorry now. I could kick myself for it. <laughs> 